So you already know, Galaxy Note 9 has released. Yes, there has been unboxing videos before mine, but you can still watch this one. Why? Because the people who unboxed it before me were not Galaxy Note fans the way that I am a Note fan. No one can give you the reaction of an enthusiast without being one. And I waited until this camera came on before I could peel this plastic off. So let's get that first reaction together. And get it over here so the, you know, the mic is over here. We gotta get that sound. Get the front off of there, you know what I'm saying? I grab, obviously, the big boy. 512 gigabytes of storage, eight gigabytes of RAM, the big boy the top of the move, the top of the line, the top of any Samsung phone that you can get right now is right here. Yeah, right here, right here. I grabbed that nice, I don't even know what the official name for this is. What we gonna call this? We are gonna call this the CJKT Samsung Blue. <laughs> the blue one was the go figure. I'm not a, the lilac, that wouldn't fly with my swag or my style, so I didn't roll with that. But this blue one, and a big key feature, my number one favorite feature of the Galaxy Note is. Oh, you hear that sound? Now I haven't seen this pen in person yet, you guys. I, I've been waiting for this. Oh. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Now look, when you first get to this point right here, this is all gold, man. Hey, Samsung, it would have been legendary if this whole S Pen would have been this metallic, shiny gold. Ooh, you still did a good job. Now let's take a. You're talking to my heart, Samsung. Flamboyant S Pen, as it should be. This is the highlight of the Note, and it is perfect that this is in a highlight color. Now, I always hear a lot of people always questioning, is the S Pen something that you actually use? Is it worth it? Now, for me, I might be an anomaly. I absolutely love the S Pen. I can't express my love enough for this S Pen right here. This is the closest thing to your pocket computer that you're gonna get. I mean, look at the size of this thing. Look at that screen. Pocket computer, your mouse. Set it up, get it on a tripod, get them crazy selfies. You can set it up in place, get it angled right, and snap that selfie. You don't even need a second hand. You got it. I'm a one man show. I'm doing, I'm doing this all one, one man. Okay, let's talk, let's get real, let's get honest, let's get about the topic real quick. If you're new to the Galaxy Note phone and you wanna know if it's worth it, I absolutely think they are worth it. Now, yes, it has a crazy price tag to it, but wait till you see what Apple's gonna be charging for their big iPhone, whatever it's called, plus version. <laughs> Holla at me then. Anyone questioning if a smartphone is worth the price that you pay for it, totally subjective to the person, the user, and the person purchasing this item. Your smartphone is about as important to you <laughs> as your blood family member. Don't get it twisted. You guys have a high value on these items that you carry in your pocket, which is part of the reason why the price can be inflated to the point that it is and we still will buy it because this is our sidekick to life. Let's just be honest. It is what it is. This is the day and age that we live in. So when people get the question in the price, hey, if, if you wanna buy a cheaper model phone, go for it, if that satisfies you and you get everything you need out of it. But if you have the means, the capabilities, the wants and the needs for a powerhouse packed device like this Galaxy Note 9, by all means, go for it. If you gotta get the 128, do the 128. Now, if you can get the 512 with the eight gig RAM, go for that one. It's totally subjective. To all you suckers out there trying to downplay the Note 9, I get it. If you have a Note 8, is it an upgrade from the Note 8? It's a yes and a no. And the way I look at it is the things that I disliked about my Note 8, they gave me on my Note 9. So they gave me stereo speakers. For a lot of people, they changed the fingerprint sensor. I was okay with the old placement, but this is even better. They made a lot of corrections. They gave you a 512 gigabyte hard drive option as well. 128 is the standard. Sounding real nice. <laughs> Doesn't it sound real nice, Apple, with the 64? <laughs> 128 should be the bare minimum that anyone is offering because you packing these things with 4K, this thing got 4K 60, 
Obviously, there's a five minute limit on it, but that's beside the point. We're doing a lot of things on these devices and it makes perfect sense for us to have the minimum of 128 gigabytes. I got 256 on this thing and I'm halfway through the storage on that. That's the iPhone X if you wonder. So it's only natural, it's only right that I get the 512 Note 9. This is justified. And it will be justified by a lot of you. So a lot of people complain about glass phones because fingerprints and so forth, but who realistically walks around with a naked phone? Some people do. Hey, if that's how you rock, then that's how you rock. Please be careful. <laughs> but, uh, you know, a lot of people complain about the glass phone so they can suggest you their, their skin of choice, whatever brand they rocking with. You know what I mean? That's the number one pitch <laughs> in this YouTube tech. No shade. I mean, I respect it. That's the perfect marketing talk. <laughs> so I have a ton of cases for this thing. I have a ton. I'm going to, you already know, case. It's all kind of Note 9 content coming from me because I absolutely love this phone. And if, you got, if you're a hater and you're hating on Samsung, if you're an iPhone, diehard iPhone user, iPhone 10 right here, I use that too. So fall back on that. Um, if you're a Samsung hater, fall back on that. And if you need a little help, fall back, bro. I did get the Galaxy Watch, you guys, and I can't wait to get it in hand so I can report to you guys the comparison of the Gear S3 to the Galaxy Watch as well as how wonderful the Galaxy Watch is when you pair it with a beast like the Galaxy Note 9. Perfect combo, like, whew. Uh, I'm recording right now, what's up? I forgot where I was. I haven't even turned this thing on, I haven't put my SIM card in it, I haven't charged it, I haven't done anything with it. I wanted to share this moment with you guys because this moment is special to me. A lot of you guys came along this journey because of last year's version of this phone. And I'm thankful. I'm very thankful. Oh, real quick. I'm about to hit 10K. And a comment was given to me that sparked the idea. And it had so much truth to it. I've never interacted with you guys live on a live stream. So for 10K, I'm going to be doing a live stream Q&A. I think a live stream is better than just a Q&A vid because I can rock with you guys live and in tandem. But I need questions. So go ahead, hit the comment section down below with a bunch of questions. Q&A coming at 10K. Matter of fact, pause what you're doing right now because I'm going to pause. Smash that sub button and let's get closer to 10K right now. So I'm going to do a live Q&A. I want you guys to drop questions right now in the comment section. I'm very active on Twitter. You guys can go on Twitter, hit me with your question. You guys can go on my Instagram, hit me with your questions. I need questions. I want questions now so I can see the direction where I'm going and, and then you guys can hit me with questions live in the chat. You know what I mean? So 10K, Q&A, live stream, come on. My number one thing I wanted to do was kind of give a little background on the Galaxy Note and what it means to me. I'm a definite Galaxy Note fan. I definitely think that this thing is worth the price tag regardless. I know it's up there, but we're in a day and age where the flagship, the top dogs, which is Apple and Samsung, they're gonna hit you with the top price. You know what I mean? These are the luxury cars of the smartphone arena. So, I mean, you know what I mean? Apple, Samsung, it's the top of the line and you're gonna pay the top of the line price. Now they are offering options that are, you know, in between, and then you got your budget phone. So you make your choice that way, be responsible, be conscious. But if you can actually have the means to get this, don't put yourself in no trouble trying to get this. You know what I mean? No cap, none of that nonsense. You know what I mean? We, we stay true to who we are and what we got. You know what I mean? If you gotta get the peasant iPhone, get the peasant iPhone and wear it with pride. I'm sorry, the, the term coined by my boy Flaw. Anyways, um, yeah. You get an option of free items. I went with the AKG, what are these, like N60 noise canceling wireless. These are Bluetooth and they come with a wire. So I can use the headphone jack or I can not use it. Perfect, that's dope. I get that option to either plug in and get that plugged in audio or I could still go Bluetooth with these things. These things are cool. They got the noise canceling, they got these big pillow Pleather, leather, pillow. These are $300 headphones that they gave you for free. I'm gonna live with them, I'm gonna try them, and I'm gonna give the 100, cause you know, I'm an audiophile, I gotta keep it a thousand. So I'm gonna play with them and let you know if, if they're any good. 
See, the noise canceling is on point. Like I put these things on and it's really cutting down on the noise outside just off the rip. Um, you know, you got your controls, you got your skip back and forth. And if you press this, it's play and pause. This is where you charge it. This is where you can plug in the wired headphone jack if that's what you wanna use. This right here is the power button. So if you put this in the middle, it's on. And if you put it all the way down, that's pairing mode. So you go ahead and pair that. I already paired these up with the iPhone X to check them out. The sound quality is pretty decent on these. I prefer these over the whole Fortnite battle. You know what I mean? I'm not really big on the, you know, I've played Fortnite. It's actually fun and addictive, but I'm not gonna play it on my phone. And I try to stay away from things that are too addictive because I'm trying to stay on the grind. I'm trying to stay focused. And this takes a lot of time and effort. So I'm addicted to this. I'm dedicated to this and I'm about to go hard. I'm about to go nuts. <laughs> Wait, pop, pop. I'm about to go nuts with all of the content on this channel and growing my platform here. So I'm dedicated to this. I appreciate everyone that has supported me up to this point and continues to support me. I'm very thankful. My name is CJ, this is CJ Knows Tech. This was just the best unboxing <laughs> of the Galaxy Note 9 that you can watch on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's what I... Old time safe, you suckers. You know what I'm saying?